This may not look like a modern industry. The jute mills of West Bengal have been in decline for years, as jute products such as hessian cloth have lost out to synthetic substitutes. Now the owners and workers of these factories are hoping for better times, thanks to this. The plastic bag is the curse of environmentalists around the world. They claim they clutter up rivers and coastlines, killing birds and sea life. Governments around the world have joined the cause. China has forbidden shops from giving them away for free. The U.S. city of San Francisco has banned them from large supermarkets and pharmacies. Delhi too has joined the bandwagon. The jute makers are looking to prosper. The good thing about jute is that it's strong. It is long-lasting. It is cheap. And the biggest advantage is that it's eco-friendly, as it's a natural fibre. It's for these reasons that not only abroad but in India as well, the demand is high. The Delhi government has banned plastic, and the Delhi government secretary tells us that almost 100,000 jute bags will be required every day. India's jute industry is not without its problems. It's been plagued by strikes. It's by no means immune from the global downturn. Nor will all jute products appeal to everyone. But this traditional industry is hoping the plastic bags' troubles will be its gain. Neil Bowdler, BBC News.